Well, this is my craft room. This is where I do my stuff. Creative stuff goes on in here. Over here in this corner is where I have my tripod set up for my tutorials and there's one of my lights and there's another light. I have things on the table that I'm getting ready to do a tutorial on. Broadcast a new one. There are my three paper cutters and my Cricut machine. This thing over here originally had been on my table. It's what I my papers were held in. It used to go along the back where this over the sink counter thing is and and now I've got stuff underneath there and and all of my non stamping up marking pens. And I do have some stamping up items. And these boxes I got from IKEA and had to put them together, which was fun in itself. This one up here holds things like my tape, different kinds of tapes, and foam dots. And this up here is my liquid glues. This one holds my paper scraps. And this one holds my colossals. Ooh, if I can get out of down here. There's the foam thing, but there's my colossals. It holds them. And then this drawer hold some of those rub-on letters and, and then this little pad of letters that I run through a Xyron. This, this is all buttons. These my brass stencils and one of the label holders and And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those drain. Well, I guess they catch hair or whatever they are, but they're for drains. I'll show you what I do with those. And then this is numbers. This one holds the little things that I'm not terribly sure what to do with. This one is all my flowers. This one is all of my brads and little rhinestones and these cute little clothespins. This one holds my beads and this one holds some mica and labels and, and great big, great big brad things. This one holds my glue dots and extra glues. My pop dots go in there. These are these are my acrylic stamps. And then some little wooden stamps. This one holds my blades. Oh, an empty box. I need to get busy. This is my embossing powder, my embossing buddy. And this is my glitter and micro beads. This one holds little mirror pieces. And my wire. With my Cricut, I used scraps, used up my scraps, and I made these flowers and things with from all the scrap paper and I put the colors put the colors of them together in these little jars over here and these are these are books that I have for they hold my stencils 
my different kinds of stencils and then all of these that I can use on the light box there's a whole bunch of these and then I have a bunch of glass jars I save glass jars and then this has my small pieces of scrap this is my book of ideas when I get stumped so I have a bunch of sketches that that I copied off of split coast stampers this next notebook is when I make cards then the little <clears throat> little salutation things inside oh for birthday or get well or funny little saying or or a serious saying for the inside and then these are my unmounted rubber stamps that I have I have in here and they're on a plastic sheet <clears throat> and this is where some of my my ribbon lives is from some shelving that my husband started to put up in his room or he did he did put it up in his room and that was a piece he cut off and it sat outside for a long time and weathered and, and I was going to throw it away and I thought wait a minute I'll just clean it up and then I'll hang it on my door it's, there's more ribbon and then these are little pieces of ribbons can't throw anything away And I had my husband ins put some cupboards in for me. IKEA box, my scrapbook albums, and and all of my decorative scissors. And over on this side, I have another couple of empty boxes. This is my sidekick, my Sizzix sidekick, and the cutting pads. And then you saw my paper the other day. And then up here in the cupboards. Hiding behind this door are all of the different books that I have that I have not gotten rid of. These are all the different books that I started with learning this process. Learning how to scrapbook. And then I have letter templates. These are all alphabet stencils of some kind. And then I have letter stickers. And that's just what they are. Stickers. That's all my letters have them in page protectors. And then I have shape templates. I've used these a time or two, but not very often. And then in this cupboard, is my Sizzix dies and then my freezer paper that I have to have as this has my Xyron machines and I love these too and I'm going to show you how to use these I really like them this thing down here regulates the my light these lights when I turn that box on, this is my husband's toy. And that poor guy, when he married me, he didn't know that everything he owns, I will figure out how to use it or wear it. But it, it turns my lights on for over in my area where I work there to do my videos.